everybody it's christmas eve and today's passage is that famous christmas prophecy from isaiah chapter 9 and it starts out with this the land is experiencing doom and gloom that sounds so much like 2020. i think it's amazing that this year is 2020 like 2020 vision when there's been so much darkness like totally blindsided who in the world saw this coming we just got nailed and it's 20 it's 2020 what a year you think about all the mess that's gone on this year well it says in isaiah chapter 9 that the the land's in doom and gloom and is experiencing darkness and distress and we have experienced so much distress political distress social distress racial distress and then of course all things COVID that are going on I, there's been physical problems obviously but mental emotional and of course financial i am standing in bath county virginia b-a-t-h bath bath county virginia and i'm standing out in front of the legendary homestead resort and i gotta tell you this place is impressive it is amazing i'm not staying here but man i wish i was we are staying in a small cabin in the woods Krista said, you know what, John? My mom passed away this year and Christmas with my mom was so important. I just feel like we gotta get away. Instead of giving a bunch of gifts to each other, let's give the gift of going away to a small cabin in the woods. And that's exactly what we've done. Now, the thing about the small cabin in the woods, it doesn't have super fast internet. We have a very slow turtle of an internet speed and there's almost no cell phone reception. So we come down here to the homestead that has great internet and great cell phone just to plug back in to the world. Well, Bath County, Virginia, if you have wondered where is the bottom of the unemployment claims of the barrel, this is it. Just to put things in perspective for you, Arlington County, 10 people per thousand have filed for unemployment. Alexandria, Loudoun, Fairfax, pretty much 14 to 15 people per thousand have filed for unemployment. Bath County, Virginia, 76 people per thousand have filed for unemployment. Homestead, major employer here. This place has been so dark, so gloomy. Man, when things shut down in March and April, it was bad, bad, bad. We've been talking to people here. They've been telling us about it. They said, we're just thankful now that we're open up and we kind of have a job. But things have been dark and gloomy. Now, Isaiah 9 says for a people walking in a land of darkness i have seen a great light who is that great light jesus christ and then it goes on to say we will experience ever increasing peace and ever increasing joy how how's that going to happen because it says this the government will be on his shoulders what in the world does that mean here on christmas eve the government will be on his shoulders government is wrong so like in the famous handles messiah he will reign forever and ever the rule he'll be large he'll be in charge he'll be the king of kings he'll be the lord of lords so i just want to say i just want to say two statements and one question two statements one question first statement is this god will never force his rule on you or on me when i think about the world is in bad shape and why do people do what they do and why don't they square away Here's the good news. God will never force his rule on me. And I say, yes, here's the bad news. God won't force his rule on other people. Second statement, there is a tug of war. Every single person wants to follow the ways of Christ, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, forgiveness, all the good stuff. And at the same time, we want to reject it. So first of all, God's never going to force. Second of all, there's a tug of war. Now here's the question. Who do you want to rule your world? Who do you want to rule your world? world should not be ruled by me. I've studied enough. I've looked at myself enough. I know that I am corruptible. Should it be ruled by you? The famous British historian, Lord Acton said this, 19th century historian said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. But here's the cool thing. Jesus Christ had absolute power and he was totally incorruptible. The best thing for us, the smartest choice for us is to let God take the government on his shoulders, is for God to rule and reign, to worship him above all else. That's the smartest thing because peace will increase, light will increase, righteousness will increase because he is absolutely incorruptible. So I wanna pray this. 
and I'd like you to join with me in this prayer. You know, when we say amen, it's like, yeah, I'm in agreement with you. Now, look, I'm an introvert. I would never say amen out loud. But inside, if somebody's praying something, I'd be like, amen, inside, or thumbs up, inside. So maybe you want to do that, because I think it's powerful. You want to say, God, look, I need you to take over. I need you to take over my life. And I got to be honest with you, God. There are going to be times when I get foolish and dumb and I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to do it my own way. Please forgive me, God, for that. Please be patient. Please just be patient with me. Don't crush me. Please, with me. But God, we really need you to rule and reign forever and ever and ever so that peace will increase. Please, will you join me in this prayer because we need light. Almighty God, please be patient with us when we reject your rule and reign. But God, please come and bring the light and life because the government is on your shoulders. Rule and reign in our lives and in this world forever and ever. In Christ's name, amen. Everybody love you and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a much better, more light-filled 2021.